welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. We are still continuing with the, uh, with the, uh, oh, with the, uh, True Lab, and I just found the yellow key. I didn't realize that's where that was, but... What's the yellow door again? Was it down here? I think it was in here. Yes. Ah, uh, you know what? That probably would have been a good clue. Just saying. So the other clue was cold, so that makes me think it's in there, but I don't know how to open the refrigerator. How do I open it? Okay, that's stupid, and none of the walkthroughs I checked told you to walk behind every fucking refrigerator. That's fucking dumb. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm, I'm, I think this is supposed to be the Snow Drake, along with some other things, so... There we go. That is stupid. That was fucking dumb. God. Like, that's... This is why I should write walkthroughs of games, because I check walkthroughs very often sometimes, very often sometimes, great. They leave out, so many walkthroughs I look at, leave out so much crucial details that you just don't realize are there. Or aren't there, or whatever the fuck. So the walkthrough has also told me that the door that unlocks did that just move? That's weird that it has to reload that. This is all I have, by the way. Like, I am so fucked. I only have four healing items for whatever the fuck is coming up. And I'm probably gonna die. It's probably gonna kill me, because I have no money. Here we go. Into the abyss. Hi. Hey, stop! I got you some food, okay? Sorry about that. They kind of get sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went on and I've been trying to turn it back- or the power- the power went out and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This is probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of you guys or anything, or these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid. 
tell the truth that I might run away or do something cowardly. Um, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated my power... I, I isolated a power I called determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physical and lost what and lost what physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. I was too afraid to do anything. I was afraid to do any more work knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm pretty... I'm sure there will be times where I struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing, deep down, that I have friends to fall back on, I know it will be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on guys, it's time for everyone to go home. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? The flower's gone. Well, fuck. Well, no turning back. I guess we gotta go fight Asgore now. And Flowey again. Mother fucking fuck. I guess next time, we're going to be refighting Asgore and Flowey for the best possible ending. So thank you all so very much for watching. My name is Light Dragon, and until next time... <laughs>